everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Susan Timchak, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'd like to welcome you here. Today, I'm continuing on with my A to Z technique book. Um, well, A to Z technique book. Okay, <laughs> we'll just end it there. And uh, I want to show you, this is a fun technique um, and very simple. Again, a lot of my techniques are very, very simple. So here is the card we're going to make. Isn't that cute? For all you cat lovers out there. And here is the technique card, which I will be adding um, very soon to our technique book. I'll be typing that up and putting that over on my blog at Blogspot along with my Stampin' Up! Uh, website. And both of those can be found at www.stampinsuecreates.stampinup.net along with Stampin' Sue Creates at blogs, blogspot.com. So um, you can find them there. You can copy, paste them, make your own little book. So um, for this technique, and, and make sure you watch this video till the end because I have another alternative idea to share with you too. Another step, actually a totally, you could consider it a different technique if you want to, but I'll just get included in this one. And if you wanted to make up your own card for that, you can or just add a little addendum onto this one. But this is the folder stamping technique. So what you're going to do is you're going to ink the raised side of an embossing folder with non-permanent dye-based ink. And we're going to be using our classic ink today. You can use a brayer, but I'm just going to go a direct to folder technique today too. So you're getting a couple techniques in this card actually. You can also carefully tap the ink pad to the raised image, which is what I'm going to do. Place paper in the folder, close the folder, and press firmly or roll brayer to imprint the design to the paper. And then clean by rinse with water or wipe with a wet towel, or you can use your uh, Simply Chamois, or just a baby wipe, whatever works for you. So, And then when you do that, you get this fun technique. So to me, this reminds me of like barn board, but I wanted to use this color because this is one of our in colors that is going to be retiring Where's my ink pad? Here we are. This is the um, Lemon Lime Twist, and this is the ink color that is going to be retiring as of when the new catalog comes out for June, but don't wait till then to get those new, those old retiring ink color, because I have a feeling they're going to sell out before the catalog even is done. And, uh, all right. So without my babbling on, let's give this a try. So here's what I'm working with today. I am working with the um, Big Shot, the Pinewood Planks Dynamic Textures, Texture Impressions Embossing Folder. Okay, let's just use Dynamic Folder <laughs> for now with the Pinewood. And it's basically, um, this is one of those big six by six ones. And it's a dynamic one because it's, it's one of the thicker folders, okay? So, all right, let's get this started. Um, I'm gonna open this up. So to do the technique, the raised part of the folder is actually the side that has the Stampin' Up! symbol on it. So like I stated, I was just gonna do a direct-to-folder technique, which just take my ink pad right to the folder. Now this is why they tell you you wanna use a dye-based ink pad, because if you were to use a Stazon or a permanent ink, your folder will be permanently inked with that, which um, unless you don't mind that, I mean, that's perfectly fine. Or if you want to buy two of them, that's even fabulous too. You could go ahead and do that as well. Okay, so I'm going to take my, this one, oh wait, I'm going to do that way. I want to do going up and down. Okay, so I have to make it bigger. All right, hold on. Get a little bit ahead of myself here. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I want to be able to fit my cardstock. Then you can go across or up and down. So I wanted to make sure I went up and down with this. All right, so I'm just going to lay my piece of cardstock in here, hopefully straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my acrylic blocks and I'm just going to rub, holding on to my paper, just across the back. You can close the folder and rub that way, but I found I didn't get as, as good a technique with that. Then when you lift it off, there you have it. Now, I love the way it has the imperfections where some parts look a little brighter, some are a little darker. I love that. 
because it almost reminds you of real like barn board. And if you were to do this in one of our blues or um, you could do it in the grays or the browns, I mean, it would really be really fun. So just going to clean off my block a little bit and and here comes an indication. And, and what you can do is you can just use your um, Simply Chamois. And did you know these Simply Chamois are fabulous? If you don't own one, you definitely want one. Um, you can throw them right in the wash or you can just rinse them in the sink and you're not using any chemicals with it. So that's good for the environment. And um, just, and I have shamrock hands today. So happy St. Patrick's Day, those of you that are watching it on St. Patrick's Day. But you can just easily, very easily clean them that way. Okay, so let me get a piece of background. And um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. that there's our background piece so let's do a little stamping with this to kind of um, embellish it a little further just make it a little something fun um, so I have a piece of scrap card cardstock and this is a great way to use up all these scraps it's however inches long whatever your scrap is and it's one and a quarter inch wide and I'm going to use the stamp set here nine lives so if you haven't seen this you're going to definitely want to add this to your wish list because this is in the Occasions catalog, and it also has a coordinating punch with the cat. So um, we also have a dog one too, so don't worry, I'll have to use the dog one for the next one, so I'm not showing any prejudice. But look how fun the stamp set is. So you have your cat, and then you can make it into a tabby or calico, and then you have all your little embellishments, which are two steps, so you won't have to color them in because you just stamp the image and then stamp the one with the color. And it has a lot of cute sayings. You're the cat's meow, which is what we're gonna use. True love has four paws. A friend like you comes around once in nine lives and little meow. And it's just super cute. And it's a photopolymer stamp set. So it's crystal clear, you can see right through it. So anyhow, let's just take this. Um, we're using the you're the cat's meow. We're just gonna stamp this at the top. Just like that, very easy. And I'm just going to trim this first. And I'll tell you, I'm going to use my triple tag punch. And if you do not own this punch, I mean, you need this. This makes three different size tags um, with the little flags on the end. And the way I'm going to use it is I'm going to turn it upside down and put my piece of cardstock. And you see, this one is one and a quarter. Now, if I had a one inch, one and a half, or two, it would slide right into those little grooves. But it doesn't have to. It can be any width. And let me just get this in here. And then I'm just going to punch it. It's going to create my little, my little tab, just like that. Might want to make that a little shorter. All right, that's perfect. And then I have a scrap piece of black, a basic black, and I'm going to use, I always use my punches upside down because you can see where you're going. If you were to use it this way, you're not really sure where you're actually punching. So I do recommend upside down. And if you're going to do something stamped and then punched out, um, you definitely want to do it in that order. You want to stamp it and then punch it out. Okay. So here's our little kitty, and you can do your little kitty either way. You can do it, you know, facing whatever direction you want it to be, because it doesn't really matter. So let me do it this way. All right, I'm going to put a little adhesive there, and be careful of the tail. Got my glue stuck on there. All right. I just don't want that glue to be on my card. So let's put our little kitty here. Almost looks like, you know, it's um, sitting and there's like a barn board behind it. Very cute. And I've got to clean this off because I have a, a little booger there. A little glue booger. <laughs> That's what I call those little things. And we're just going to put our little banner. So normally we do our banner going this way, but you can turn your banner to go up and down instead. And that's a little crooked. So hopefully I didn't press too hard on that. I know it's only a little card for the technique book, but I can't help myself sometimes. Okay, so there we go. And then we'll take our little 
Technique description and our four by three technique cardstock. We'll glue that onto there. And you could even what another thing you could do for this book, which would be really fun, is if you use all different colored cardstocks, you can write on the cardstock what the color is. So you can make yourself a book not only with techniques but a color book to tell you what the cardstock backings are, which um, is a lot of fun too. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this into our book. I know I'm off camera a little teensy bit, but um, I'll show you once I get it in here. Some of these, um, some of these folders. See now, this is a full page one, so I probably won't use that one unless I use my fuse tool, where you can fuse this into pockets. But some of these pages, like this one has a 4x6 opening, and then it has two of the 3x4. So um, I've run into that a little bit. You know, you can just totally decide to not use those pages and use them, you know, for your uh, memory keeping instead. Or, you know, if you don't really mind that too much, then um, you can do that. Okay, so I promised you another technique that I wanted to share with you. So the other one that... Um, you can try. Now this is another folder. This is the Country Floral Dynamic Texture and Press and Embossed in folder. Yeah, I set that really fast and pretty good, I think. This is a free item during celebration through the end of March 31st, 2019. With a $50 purchase, you may choose this embossing folder for free. And um, it's beautiful. It doesn't really show up well. But if you were to open this up, and do the same technique as we did before. So ink this up, then run this through your Big Shot. Let me show you what you're gonna get. Here is what you are going to get. Now look at that. Is that not stunning? So that is like a whole, ooh, that is like a whole other technique, this one. Now, if you were to take your embossing folder and instead of inking up the side with the Stampin' Up, if you ink up this side, which is, you know, the items that were embossed here or debossed here, run it through your Big Shot, here's what you're going to get for that. A little bit different. Um, so it's like a debossed image. So you have your embossed image and your debossed image. So I thought that was a lot of fun, too. I might add this to my um, technique book right on the same page. Um, stick the two of these in there. Just, um, you know, maybe um, do a little uh, tag or something on it just to say embossing folder run through the big shot, you know, technique doing the same thing on the same page. So I may do that. Um, so anyhow, um, I hope you enjoy this technique. I hope that you give it a try using all your different folders and um, different colors and things like that and see what you can come up with. So thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're not currently a subscriber along with the little notification bell. So you're going to want to ring that bell and then that will then make you make a notification to you when I upload a new video. So this is so much fun doing these tech, this technique book and I'm enjoying it immensely. And I hope you are too. So if you are, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Be sure to share this with other people that you believe would be interested in learning some techniques. And I really would appreciate that. really helps my channel out a lot. So thanks so much for joining me. Happy St. Patrick's Day and have a super stampin' day. And I'll see you back here again real soon. Bye for now.